Okay, so once the film's loaded, we're going to then proceed to click Preview, Scanner Preview. The scanner will identify the holder and then run through a preview scan so you get an idea of what your image might look like. Okay, next we're going to select um, the image that we want to scan uh, at full resolution. Now, before doing so, we're going to use the magnifying tools down here, which look like mountains, to just magnify the steels we've got so we can select um, the correct crop. So I'm going to zoom in. If you hover over the icons, that'll help us decipher. Now, what we're going to do is select the image without selecting any of the black, okay? It's important that we don't select any of the black because this is going to throw off our dynamic range reading. Once we've um, selected our crop uh, and cut out any of the black on the outside, okay? The black is actually part of the film holder. Um, what we're going to do is click automatic preview, okay? This will perform an automatic correction uh, to the dynamic range and give us a clearer idea of the details that we've achieved in our shadows and our highlights. Okay, so this subtly changed, it darkened down a bit, but we were able to recover some more details in the highlights, as we can see down here. So after we've performed our automatic corrections, we can now go through to um, doing our 3F scan. Now a 3F is the file format for a Hasselblad RAW file. Okay, so this is equivalent to say Canon CR2 RAW file. Um, so we're gonna, what we're gonna do is click the 3F icon here. This will bring up the 3F scan window. Okay, so going through the options here, the first we have the destination, we're going to leave that at the scratch, scratch pad. Okay, this is a folder in which all our 3F um, files are kept on the computer. Down um, to the image name, I'd recommend you put your, your student name. Okay, then moving down, you can also save a um, TIFF file alongside, so you can select um, save final TIFF. Um, so you'll get a 3F file and you also get a TIFF file, but I have to say there is uh, obviously going to be differences in, in the outcome of the image between those two files. Um, below that we've got film type, so we can select a positive, uh, a colour or a black and white. So today we're scanning a colour negative, so I'm going to select colour negative. And below that we have setup, okay? Now what setup is, is a series of film specific uh, presets. So depending on what type of film you've shot on, we can select that type of film. Or if the film is not listed, you can also select um, the standard negative type. So you could do, um, say here, like a negative RGB standard. You do have a saturated, saturated version. I'd recommend doing the RGB standard. Okay, below that we have our frame selection. So we're shooting six by seven today. Now below we've got crop. This is also set to auto. As we've seen here, we've already selected our crop. So we need to click on current crop, not automatic. And then below that we've got auto levels. Make sure this is not selected. We want to have a nice, clean, flat raw scan, so don't click auto levels. And to the left, adapt to format, we're going to leave unselected. And below, output PPI, the details of which PPI um, we need to input depending on the size film that we're scanning. Okay, so once that's all put in correctly, we can then hit scan.